Hello everyone and welcome to this Rename with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to open the browser in the incognito mode or the private mode. So let's begin. In some cases, you might need to execute a test in the isolated environment where it should not be impacting by the browser history or something like that. So let me show you what is the incognito mode here. So let me open the browser here. And if you press Control Shift N, so it will open a incognito tab. You see that this is incognito, and it doesn't, you know, show the history or something like that. This is an isolated environment. So in some cases, you might need to execute your test cases in this particular incognito mode. So in the group, it is a incognito mode, and in the Firefox, it's a private mode. So let me show you how we can actually open this incognito mode using the Selenium web driver. So let me go. Let me close this one here. And I have a documentation for this one because for in order to open the browser into the incognito mode, we need to use the options class. Okay, so for this one, so here's a documentation link. I will provide this link in the description as well. So let me open this one with the browser. And here, uh, just search for Chrome options or the options here. So you see that the Firefox web browser options and in a similar way you will find for the Chrome options and if I click on this one so here's the documentation and you see that this is a class okay and using this one using this class we will be able to open the browser into the incognito mode okay and if we want to use this class we need to create the object of this class first okay so let's go to the Python here and let me create a new Python file. I will say it as in cognito mode. And the first thing is that we need to import a web driver. So from Selenium, we need to import the web driver. And also, we need to import the options, right? So here, Let's let me create a uh, object for this one. So Chrome underscore options equals to options, and here we need to import the options. So from here you see that we are getting so many uh you know sessions here. Now which one we need to import because for example we are working with the Chrome right now. So we will be going with this selenium web driver dot room dot options. Okay, so this is what we need to import. Right. So you see that from selenium web driver room dot options import options. So this is the one we, which we need to import here. Now once we have this object, so using this object we can actually pass an argument that we want to open the browser into the incognito mode so home options dot add argument so this is the thing which we need to use and the argument is basically very simple in double quotes double dash and we simply need to write in cog that's it and now while using or opening or creating the web driver okay so basically this driver equals to web driver dot chrome web driver dot chrome and previously what we were doing is that we were simply using this one and opening the browser so for example if i go here and let me maximize this one and uh, after maximizing let's open any website but before that <coughs> let me put some time dot sleep here and here and finally using driver dot get let's open any of the website so let me open the google dot com so let me copy the url from here and paste it here okay 
Now uh, let's run this one and see what happens here. So let me run this one. We haven't, do we have created object for the options class, but you see that only the normal browser is open. There's no incognito mentioned over here. The reason is that though we have set the arguments, we have used the options class object, but what we need to do is that because driver, we need to pass this to the driver as well because driver is driving your browser. So how we can pass this one? So here we say, options equals to your Chrome option. So we are passing this here. Now, if I run this one, it will open into the incognito mode here. You see that this open into the incognito mode on the right top, right? So in order to work with the Firefox, so basically what happens is that if you go here and open the Firefox and Again, shift control n or new private window. You can use this one. Control shift p actually in the browser in the Firefox. So you see that it's a private window. So this is a private browsing. So what you need to do is that uh, if I go, let me close this one. And here, instead of uh, you know incognito mode, we we need to use a keyword called private and here what I will say we need to go with the Firefox okay and here I will say Firefox underscore options using this one and this one and here we do so uh, now we are good to go and let me put more time here and let me run this one and see what happens here so i should open the browser but we are getting some error here so the error is that web driver exception okay okay so basically we need to import the basically firefox options right so if i remove this one okay so what we need to do is that we need so let's go here again in this one and here let's go with the fire for this time okay and now we are good to go with the execution so let's run this one and this time it should work yes it's working and you see that you are about private browsing right so you are browsing in the private mode so that's how you can open the incognito mode or the private mode on the firefox to isolate your test and execute your test in the isolated mode thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial